G'day guys, how are ya? So, um, I've got a bit of sun today, because I had to, this is the song that's in my head. Oranges and lemons, the bells of St. Clemens. That nursery rhyme is in my head. Gosh, this light's terrible. Let me go this way. Um, because, and this is why I have sunburn, where I live, we are in a Queensland fruit fly quarantine area because somebody a few streets away found Queensland fruit fly in their citrus months ago. And so the Department of Agri Agriculture went, right, we have to make a quarantine area and come three times a week to everybody in the area that has citrus trees and I have two I have an orange and I have a mandarin anyway two lovely ladies came today every time they come three times a week every time different people come I have never seen the same people come ever um, and I just wondered where the hell did they find all these people are these all like government public servants who just normally work in the office and never see the outside and they went in and said does anyone want to work outside and everyone went yeah we do and that was how they got all these workers for the Department of Agriculture anyway that's it's just exact uh, that's what I'm assuming anyway so they come today to check my mandarins now I have no oranges left I had to pick them because the black cockatoos were coming and the black cockatoos would hang on the branch and hold the orange with a claw and then they would pick out a circle of peel and drop it on the grass and then they would just clean out the inside of the orange. So I thought I had all these oranges on my um, orange tree and went to pick some and they were hollow. There was no actual pulp fruit left inside. <laughs> The skin of the orange <clears throat> and they had done it so that the oranges faced away from the window when I looked out the back to, to see if you know anything had dropped on the ground because that's the other thing if any of the fruit drops on the ground we have to go and pick it up straight away and either eat it or dispose of it accordingly so yeah I went out to pick my oranges and half of them had been hollowed out by the black cockatoos which is fine because you know they're endangered and um yeah but what I'm worried about now is they found a source of food and they remember they remember where they find sources of food and they come back every year so like my neighbor has a pecan tree every year those black cockatoos come and they decimate that tree <laughs> of all of its pecan nuts um and they leave crap everywhere. They don't care. They break branches. There's just crap everywhere. So now they found that my navel orange tree is a source of food. So does this mean they're going to come back next year and do it again? So anyway, I rescued the rest of the oranges that were on the tree and brought them in. And so we have them. But then the ladies that came today had taken one of my mandarins and I have heaps of mandarins i reckon there must have been about 200 mandarins on that tree and it's not a very big tree um <clears throat> and she said we're going to take one of these away and get it tested because it's got and she showed me it had like little stab marks all over it that had then healed the skin had then healed and she said um this could be the queensland fruit fly or it could just be the normal fruit fly that does this she said but we're going to go and get it tested but you need to go and harvest the rest of your mandarins and take them inside and give them to your neighbours or eat them all yourself or dispose of them. I cannot give them to anyone outside of the, the Queensland fruit fly quarantine area. So I have about 200 mandarins in my kitchen at the moment and I've taken a bag to each of my um, either side neighbours and I'm just hoping my street, we have a WhatsApp group and I've put a message on there saying, if anyone wants any mandarins, please come and get some. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, good thing is, is I have no more citrus on my tree, so they don't need to come to my house anymore and inspect it. Yay! So uh, that's one good thing about it, I suppose. I'm just lucky that my locust tree is still very young and 
is yet to flower and then fruit. So I'm hoping next year that will happen. But yeah, I'm a bit worried about those black cockatoos finding my orange tree as a source of food. Anywho, that's life. But yeah, I'm singing oranges and lemons and bells of St. Clemens. And then I can't remember any, any rest of the nursery rhyme. That's terrible, isn't it? And that was the one we used to hold somebody's hands and you'd do that oranges and lemons and then you'd turn around and still hold hands with your hands at the back didn't we is that the one is that the nursery right anyway so that's the song that's stuck in my head today have a great day guys bye